YouTube back at it again with another video as you can see it's raining which is fine because as you could probably tell by the title of the video I'm gonna be installing new bar and mirrors and new grips on the Vulcan S I'll have in the description these exact uh, grips and bar or in mirrors. I got them off Amazon. But uh I mean they were pretty pretty affordable. Uh these grips are built well uh grips. It's kinda like a diamond stitch type of style. Mostly because eventually I'm gonna change the stock seat for a more comfortable uh, custom one I guess. But I want that same style of stitching on the seat so it'll match more or less and these bar ends they're they're I don't know what I, don't, I can't remember what brand they are but I mean from what I could tell in the reviews that they were pretty good and they fit these like they fit the they fit uh, the Vulcan S so should be okay also got my water and black coffee also important well task as far as I could tell all you really need is either a 17 mil uh, open-ended wrench or uh, an adjustable like what I got here and a uh, six mil allen key or if you have one of those attachments that go on a uh, ratchets <clears throat> that'd be great too but I don't have one right now so uh, I'm just gonna have to use the old-fashioned allen key it's simple to remove the stock mirrors just need that wrench wrench it off from here and then that allen key for that screw right in here <laughs> got the stock bar end off bar and weight that's a pretty good Loctite on that so might take a little bit of a effort to do that so I got that first one off it actually took a little bit more effort than I thought it would it, it seemed to take a little bit of effort on to me, I guess, but, but anyways, yeah, I had to use a, a pry bar and get it fished in there and push it off slowly. I left a little plastic cover on so I won't scratch up the bar, but yeah, it's, uh, it's off. <laughs> but what was going on? Pro tip, use Windex or some kind of glass cleaner to uh, help slide the grips on the, on the bar. It's uh, alcohol-based. So it'll eventually evaporate. It won't just be staying in there. Uh, it's a little tidbit I picked up at work. Rubber slice on metal, a lot easier with Windex. Also, you're gonna have to cut off the ends of these grips for the bar end to go through. Just FYI. Also for these uh, bar ends, they come with these adapters. They're meant for hollow bars, but these Vulcan S bars are not hollow. And also, I'm probably going to be using the original factory uh, bar end screw because the one it comes with, because of this, uh, because of this adapter, is uh, pretty long, and I don't think it really needs to be that long for this. So yeah, putting on the first mirror here in a minute. There's that first grip and mirror on the left side. I like it. I like how it looks. But I haven't tightened this or that down yet because uh, when I'm done with both, I'm gonna sit on the bike and see if they're at the right angle I want them to be at. They're looking good so far. I'm gonna do the uh, other side and I'll catch y'all here in a minute. 
one eternity later. Alright guys, I put them both on and they look pretty good. I had them I already adjusted them and all that. I did kind of mess up here, I could have put it too short. As you can see. Uh, when I get around to it, I might have to order another one just to replace that, because that's that's gonna bug. That's gonna bug me. Yeah, I mean they look nice. Had them adjusted. In terms of field of view, they're not as as good, I guess, as the stock mirrors, but they're farther out, so that should help compensate. Another pro tip. Hey, pro tips. Like and subscribe. For more pro tips. <laughs> anyways, you might want to use Loctite on these end screws. Uh. I mean, if you want, I did. And uh, just in case you don't know, one of these grips has a slightly bigger diameter than the other because one is meant for the left, one is meant for the left side, and the other one's meant for the throttle. So keep in mind that. Probably later on, find some screws to cap these off. Just because that's gonna bug me too. Just open open screw holes. Alright, well that's it for today's video. Install of the built well grips and some bar in mirrors on the Kawasaki Vulcan S. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, share if you want, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.